to episode 7 of the Camogie Report podcast brought to you by Tipperary Camogie TV. Tipperary are tra- true to the Little Wizard Division 1 League semi-final thanks to a great win over Offaly in the quarter-final. Grania Egan's opened the scoring for Offaly but Tipperary responded with two quick points in succession from Grace O'Brien. Just before the water break got caught the fan finished a great goal to give Tipperary the lead 1-6 one, one to 3 points. At half time we led 2-8 to 7 points while the second half water break Tipperary led 2-14 to 10 points. Final score then was 4.17 to 13 points. So we outscored Offaly in the second half by two goals and nine points to six points, which was remarkable considering that Roisin Howard um, got two yellow cards and we were reduced to 14 players for the majority of the second half. Uh, we now march on to play Kilkenny in the Littlewoods Iron Nas- National League semi-final. That game takes place this Sunday at 1pm in Nolan Park, uh, followed by the second semi-final at 5pm with uh, Cork and Galway. Uh, so loads of positives after today's match and I spoke to Giant Captain Aoife McGrath to get her reaction. I also spoke to Philly Ryan, Tiberi PRO and selector Mary Howard. Joined here by uh, Tiberi Giant Captain Aoife McGrath. Aoife, a fantastic win uh, in the Little Woods Iron Division 1 quarter final. 417 to 13 points. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose um, what you really want at the minute is competitive games. The way things are gone, there's not much time to prepare. So the more competitive games you can get. The better so absolutely delighted to be into the semi-final now um i suppose you're on top from the start led the water break one six to three it's a half time two eight to seven but you really pulled away really after um we lost roshan howard two yellow cards really up the ante again ah yeah look we knew coming here today they were that obviously it uh, posed a big threat like they're always a tough physical team so you know we we knew we needed to get a quick start and look any day you go down to 14 is it's tough but look everyone had, had to put in that extra bit and look thankfully we pushed on and, and got the win and great to see a good spread of scores. Grace O'Brien on fire there. Um, Kosh again, Emer McGrath, Arena Friday, all getting on the scoreboard. Delighted yeah. with that. Yeah, that's it. Um, do you know, you need you need loads of players getting scores. Like when you come to the bigger teams, like they'll they'll tie up the good ones. The likes of Kosh, so the likes of Grace O'Brien, Emer, uh, Claude McIntyre pitching in with a few scores is key. Like do you know, you need to be getting scores from from loads of different players. So that's that's good. And um, I suppose you hadn't played awfully in a few years. Had you much homework done on him or uh, much tactics going into him? Or No, it's, it's actually gas that we haven't played him in a couple of years. I suppose we have a, a lot of new players since we played him last. But look, they're, they're a good young side. Um, do you know what? They're always, always tough. Like, do you know, we've had great battles with them down through the years. So look, at the minute, you don't really know who's who, what teams have who. Like, do you know, so you need to just, just focus on your own game and work as hard as you can and then let the, the opposition take care of themselves, I suppose. Yeah, and some changes on the team today. We'd say Friday back wing back, uh, Karen Kendi was out, um, starts for Neve Tracy. Um, you know, there's lots of competition to place in the panel this year. That's it, look, I suppose you need a panel of players, like, you know, 15 players don't win it for you anymore. And I suppose Karen was a massive loss today and, and been down Claude Quirk now for the season is a massive loss. So look, others are putting their hands up. Yeah, Sarah came in, played wing back. <laughs> I'd say she's never played in the back line before a couple of weeks ago, you know. So it's fantastic to see players adapting and look you need a strong panel of players and I think that's what we're building and um, we'll probably waiting for a draw now but look it'll be Cork or Galloway next a big step, step up yeah sure look um, the next day out you're going to be playing one of the top three and look that's what you want you want to be playing against the best to, to improve and, and get better you need to be playing against the best so look looking forward to next weekend joined now by Tipperary PRO Philly Ryan just look back on that game Philly impressive performance by Tip 417 to 13 points yeah, really impressive. That in all four quarters they 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 spread the ball around, looked up from defence, gave lovely ball into the forwards, great movement and and teamwork, and a lot of different scorers today. And the way they responded after going down to fourteen players was excellent. The two the two points immediately in response, so that was really good. And look, no disrespect to Offaly, but we'd want to be winning by that kind of score if we've any chance against the Corks and Galways and Kilkenny's next day. Yeah, I suppose the the, the big three are still. Uh, putting up big scores against other counties so yeah we we, we, we put up 417 today which is a, a really good score and a lot of it from play and is there anyone particular impressed you the most or well i suppose you'd have to say grace o'brien uh, being so sharp today with two four from play uh, the new the new half back line uh, did, did really well because uh, karen kendy was out married evis in the center back really held the center well and Aoife mcgrath and sarah friday came forward with the ball yeah, and good to see Ian McGrath got another start today, got on the scoreboard again. Uh, Cueve McCarthy came off the bench, I thought did quite well. The options are there for Bill. Oh yeah, so he, I'd say he put on seven or eight subs today with the new rules. So uh, really got to see some more players today. 
Uh, I suppose uh, having spoke to one or two of the selectors, they are really impressed with the full back line also, where where we've got great pace now with the two cornerbacks, Julianne and Emer, and then Mary's experience in the middle, cutting out all the attacks. And I suppose this is our third, fourth game now, is it? Third game? And would you, can you see an improvement as the league is going on? And how would you think we'll go now in the semi final? Yeah, I think the draw is tomorrow for the semi final. So we're going to be playing either Cork, Galway, or Kilkenny. So the next match is going to be a tricky one anyway. So uh, yeah, the tempo really good today now. With great teamwork, really impressive. And the number of scores, less dependency on caught to van today. Huge amount of scores, even though she scored 2 4 today. So good to performance all around. Thanks, Billy. Goodbye, senior selector Mary Howard. Mary, uh, a very impressive performance there today. Yes, we're uh, delighted with it. Um, what I liked most about it was the teamwork and the movement of the ball and our players had options and um, I thought we moved the ball well and the forward always or nearly always got the best ball and that makes it easier to score. Yeah, the forwards in particular look very sharp today. Is there something you worked on, you know, in training and... Well, we're really, what we're really trying to do is, is, is bring Tip back up to the top and like we know that the Corks and Galways and Kilkenny are that bit ahead of us but we're getting there and that's what we need to work on. It doesn't matter who scores, it's the best player in the best position. That's what all the good teams do. The Limerick hurlers, the Kilkenny hurlers, they all do that. And even Tip and Galway, when they're at their best at hurling, it's when they play that ball to the right person in the right position. And I think we did that today and it made a huge difference to our game. And as you can see, it made a huge difference to the scoreboard. Yeah, massive score, uh, 417, probably one of the highest scores we've put up in a long time. And like you said, a great spread of scores. In the past, people were talking about depending on Cot Van, but you know, Grace O'Brien, Arena Friday, Ian McGrath, everyone, Claude, all got on the scoreboard today. Yes, yes, and that's what will please us most because, um, like it is a team game, and the players coming in, we were able to bring in six or seven um, players today, and they all contributed as well. Like Miriam Campion had a fantastic game, and she came in at a time when we were down to 14 players, like, and you know, she had to battle hard there at in the forwards and she in, caught the ball every time. She's a brilliant hand and we all know that yeah. and she uses it great effect today. It, look, it feels like as well the management have great faith in the panel and re, you know, yeah, you've, well, you've seen a lot of players now throughout the league. In training, is it competitive, very competitive matches amongst training? Yes, yes and in fairness I think like um, and it comes from the top from Bill Mullaney, like it's all about the players in form. We don't go out with a set team, it's whoever is, is performing and playing well in training they get the they get the start and then we have the players coming in or the next lot who, who impresses at training it's all about what you do with training what people did here today now they'll have to bring it to the training ground and like we have players to come back in we've Karen Kennedy who was out sick this uh, last two weeks she's come back in like we have to try and she'll be fighting to get back in the team again so like it's a great place to be and we can bring in subs who finish the game as Bill says finishers we have starters and we have finishers and just because you're a starter this week doesn't mean you're going to be a starter next week so Tipperary will travel to Nolan Park on Sunday to take on All Ireland Champions Kilkenny in the Little Wills Ireland Division 1 National League semi-final um, Kilkenny so far have had three wins from three in the league they beat Dublin the first round 1-8 to 6 points they had a huge win over Offaly in the second round, 421 to 8 points. But were made work all the way by Limerick in the quarter final at the weekend, uh, winning 210 to 13 points. Tipperary, uh, again, will take huge positives from the great spread of scores. Caught Van finish with 2 5. Grace O'Brien, 2 4 against Offaly. Eva McGrath had 3 points. While Roisin Howard, Arena Friday, Miriam Campion, Nicole Walsh, and Jean Kelly also got on the scoreboard with points. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Um, if you did, be sure to give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to Tipperary Camogie's YouTube channel. And also we have a new website out, uh, tipperarycamogie.com. Be sure to check it out.